Okay, so in the last video we did this uh, gluing up. We'll go ahead and pull these pins out. This had plenty of time. It's actually been a couple days uh, since I did it. So, but I would give it a uh, probably overnight to cure up, just to make sure you're glued up good and uh, solid. Okay, so we got that. So uh, yeah, we're good to go now. It's all glued up. So um, I didn't kind of think of where I was gonna put this, but I figure I'll knock out a little quick video. I'll make this actually part one and a half probably. But uh, one thing I've actually talked about already is the 3D printed canopy. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, it uses the same size magnets that come with it. I've actually bought some other magnets also to have spares. The, uh, 10 by 20 millimeter, I believe they are. So got that canopy. And then on the bottom, I have my buddy print me out a ESC cover. I like this one because it's got a big old scoop and some air outlets, not enough air outlet. And the one thing I did notice earlier, first, for some reason the print he did, or the one I sent him, didn't have the holes. So I'll have to drill out some holes to screw them in. But I think I'm also gonna open up this uh, cavity a little bit to let more, the wires and then more air come out through. So we'll get to that later when we do the motor and ESC. And then I have these two little inlet kind of covers for the uh, receiver and VTX bays. And they got a little just scoop kind of, also just a little touch of color. So I get some of that orange on the bottom. So those are the, what I got there. And then the biggest thing that I needed or found on my original S800 was that to get a GoPro session on the nose. Um, I only had this generic piece. Um, I think I found it just under wing session holder and it, it, it worked, I got it in there. But since then, um, I believe the, his name is Lloyd. He's on the uh, Facebook S800 group and he posted a file on Thingiverse, excuse me, reach of this holder. Um, he's got a few different versions depending on the camera. I had uh, my buddy print me out the one for the Micro Swift, I believe it is. I'm going to put a Rattel in here. And uh, so I looked in there the same size. I think it's 19 by 19 millimeter. So that should fit in there, hopefully. So what I'm going to do real quick for this video is show cutting out. Um, this will add some weight. Uh, this guy comes in at 47, 48, somewhere 47, 48 grams. So what I'll do is I'll cut this out and uh, measure it up with kind of this chunk in there, I guess, and we'll see. I, it's not gonna be nearly 47, 48 grams. However, with me using that motor mount that's gonna stick the motor out the back, it'll actually uh, help work it all out. So we'll leave a scale over there. I'll put, oh, we need this guy. Canopy off. Um, the one thing I am going to do, I know I've been using the scalpel, but I am going to go to this blade to get a longer, and, but again, I'm sharp blade, so this guy's a little rusty from the humidity we've been having on the East Coast, so I'm going to put a fresh one in there. Um, this will just give me a little bit more cutting length to get through this. So I did notice this is actually, he made it up to be the exact same size, so that's awesome. That'll help out a lot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting. Okay, so I cut it down to flush with the floor. I wasn't certain um, how deep this goes, so I just cut it down to where it's flush with the floor that was already in there. And uh, as you can see, that doesn't <laughs> cut it. It uh, sticks up still a little bit, so we need to take that much more. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick.
Okay, so it took some uh, <laughs> some trial and error. I didn't want to cut too far. Um, I wasn't sure if this needed to go all the way through, so I took a few slices of time and it ended up that uh, it does go all the way. You can see it's, it's a nice contour. He did a good job of uh, matching up pretty damn well with the uh, actual fuselage, so um, <laughs> even with my crappy fuselage mold. So that uh, ended up going all the way through. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to uh, use the E6000 and we'll glue this in. But before we do that, um, we'll need to do this hole for where the wires go through for the camera. You need to push that through the back wall. So to do that, I'm going to use this long screwdriver and we'll push through. Um, what I'm going to do is try and push straight through so I can get an idea of where it needs to come out. Um, I think it's, yeah, it comes out right underneath the, the top, comes out right under the magnet right under the magnet. So I might even angle that down a little bit as I cut it through. Um, then I'm going to do the bottom corner. So that gave us kind of an idea. And then what I'll do is I'm going to use the scalpel again for this. And that way I can get a nice small hole. So I'm kind of angling it a little bit down. Try and get below that magnet. So we don't have too much of an issue later. go. So now that's snug in there and I can see, I don't know if I'll be able to catch it on the camera, but light goes straight through there. Come out the back side. What I can do is uh, feed this wire through. So you can see. So that goes through now, so that's good to go. So now we're ready to go ahead and uh, apply some glue. So before I do that real quick, I'll show you. Like I said, this guy again was about 48 grams, 47, 48, somewhere in there. Um, Getting all these little guys we cut out of there. It only took out about eight grams, so we're at about 40 grams into the nose there. Um, obviously, then when we put the GoPro in there, that session's about 80 grams, I think. 72 grams, so um, all together, throwing uh, 110 grams in there extra with and the camera, so I'll round it up 120 or something like that. 130 with a strap. So, um, like I said, it does add some nose weight, but with the motor hanging out the back a little further, it'll, it'll all end up bouncing out nicely. So, with that, we'll go ahead and throw those pieces away. Oh, except that one big piece. As I said, I'm gonna keep this. I can actually show you a little bit what I was talking about. Keeping this piece in the earlier video, I put this guy here, and you got this big hole through here. So what I'll do is I'll cut out a piece of this to fill that whole area in and help hold the antenna up. So we'll get to that later. So now we'll go ahead and get the glue out and uh, get this guy glued in. I'll come back and check on it in a little bit just to make sure it hasn't slid, but should be good right there. So that kind of wraps up this little short uh, video. Like I said, it's just a quick one to show you the 3D printed parts I got. Uh, they're going to be going on this. Um, and the uh, next one will be getting the electronic setup camera and hopefully all the camera and the flight controller and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, like, subscribe, like I say comment. I'll leave links for all the parts that I had printed. Uh, in the description down below for Thingiverse. And uh, yeah, share this video. Again, thanks for checking it out, and I uh, hope you have a great day.